I think with, with Felipe, we have the massive pleasure of showcasing how watchmaking is truly a form of art. So there are young watchmakers coming up every year uh, from the best schools of watchmaking in the world. Felipe, um, your journey started from uh, the School of Watchmaking in Saxony, in Glasute. Were you already passionate about watchmaking before or was really the school the, the important uh, tool for you to become so passionate? Um, so um, I, I was starting to be interested in watches as a child. I, I loved watches, just loved watches. And mm -hmm. um, in the school, I was interested in nothing, just in mathematics and physics. So, and also at the free time, I was helping my father on working because he works with wood and metal and some things. So um, I know I was, uh, I, I know I wanted to uh, work with my hands, but also to make something with astronomics or mathematics and physics. So uh, I saw one day in the, in the TV, a watchmaker, and I said, okay, that's it. With 13 years old, I, I, I was uh, so um, fascinated what, is, what can be in, inside of the watch and the movement. Um, <clears throat> and then I started uh, also in this year, uh, where I saw in the TV, um, repairing the watch of my grandma. But it was, today I know it was not repairing, it was a little bit uh, not so professional. So I was just testing and uh, devel uh, this, uh, this assembling and assembling the watches that I see, uh, that I have in my family, and also um, so that was the start, and um, my my goal was to go to the school in La Sute because um, I wanted to learn from the real masters here in Germany, um, the watchmaking, and I thought it is there, and it was. I had so grand masters uh, of teachers, um, and I'm connected to them until today. Um, And I'm very, very grateful and, and thankful that I uh, was there in Glasshütte and had such a great time to, to get the knowledge from them. 